Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, I have 29 bread and butter bolos coming your way. I'm Courtney. I share with you my bolo items, my what solds. Um, these are from eBay. I do cross post my items with List Perfectly, and I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark mostly every once in a while, Etsy and Grail, but I'm a big slacker on those platforms. Three feels like good enough for me. So eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari are the main platforms I sell on. Um, I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. These are bread and butter items, items that I sold for $35 or less. And if you want to know more about List Perfectly, I do have a how-to demo video down in the description. And if you use referral coupon code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, that will get you 30% off your first month. I highly recommend it. I love it. Um, I've told you guys before I cross posted over 3000 items manually and it was, it was awful. It was torture. <laughs> so I am so thankful for list perfectly. And I know I tell you guys about it all the time. Um, I'm really pretty due to do another, um, video on how it works probably because I haven't done one for a while and I need to cross post. So I might as well do it with you guys. Right. Um, all right, let's get started. We got 29 bolo items coming your way. Okay, let's get this pulled up. And the first item is this plush briar horse. And I picked this up in a bulk buy at a garage sale. I bought all of their um, plush. So I probably got 50 cents, maybe a quarter in this. This is Marshmallow. She is rare. And I sold her for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. And she's super cute. And I usually put a tape measure just to show length. And yeah, she sold pretty quick. The next item is this vintage Playmobil helicopter. This one took a little longer to sell. It came from a garage sale. I had about $2 in it and it sold for a best offer of $20 and the buyer paid shipping. It is incomplete. So I just put that in the title. The next item is this Barbie mermaid doll. Um, and the unicorn is missing the wings. Now I picked up a Facebook marketplace haul and they just um, had a bunch of stuff lauded together. This wasn't something that I would have typically sourced, but it was in there. So I went ahead and listed it. Um, and that's why I like buying in bulk because I, I say this about when I buy stuff from YouTube au auctions, it forces me to list things that I maybe wouldn't have picked up on my own. And then I learn that way and I learn which items are bolos that I didn't even know about by doing that. So this mermaid sold for $15 and um, the buyer paid shipping and I had about $2 in it if we divided out everything that I got in that haul. The next item came from a Dibble box. Speaking of YouTube auctions, I bought this from Donatella Bottolino and um, I wasn't sure what was going on with this. It is a, um, a Morgan dollar pendant, but I think that this is a mold. And the reason I think that is my husband looked at it and he thought he saw like um, a mold line or something. And somebody messaged me about it. And I think that they said that it wasn't legit and they learned it because they bought another one or something. But look how cool it is. It's still super cool. Um, so the person that bought it knew what they were buying and it says cut out coin. Let me see. I wrote no clue what it's made of sold as seen has some plate wear. Um, because I remember I had listed it and then I asked my husband to look at it under his uh, loop. And that's just what he thought he, I mean, he's not an expert by any means on stuff like this, but, um, sold for $22. I took a best offer because I really didn't know what was going on. And again, that came in a dibble box, which is a reseller box. And the next item that sold is this vintage gold tone ornate brooch pin. And this came from my bulk buy 344 pounds of jewelry. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And I took a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this little pet shop jacket. And I sold this for um, $16. And it sold very, very quickly. It came out of a mystery box. And this is a rare hard to find item. And it sold fast. 
and I actually sold a pink one even faster. It was in another video. So definitely be on the lookout. The next item that sold is this 1982 Superstar My First Barbie dress. This is for the dress only. I do put it on a Barbie to show how it fits and to show the detail um, better. So it just display, it's a display. And then I just put uh, dress only and then I put uh, shipping and I got this at a thrift store in a lot of Barbie items. The next item is this wood for Barbie sized dollhouse furniture. I almost just donated this and I was like, you know, I think I'm going to try it. And it was in a Facebook haul where I was buying other things and they kind of threw it in. So I took a best offer of $10 and it sold pretty quick actually. And the buyer paid the shipping. This lot of 15 biz Disney Pixar cars, cars, and uh, I put these up for auction and I started it at $14.99 and that's what it sold for. And you can see here it has two bids. So if somebody would have bid against them, this would have went higher because they had placed another like a backup bid. Sold for $14.99 and these just came in, um, I think from a garage sale or they came out of a mystery box. I can't remember. I have so many cars to list. Uh, let's see the next item are these silver tone hoop earrings. And they also came out of the bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And I sold these for a best offer of $6 and the buyer paid shipping. Nothing really special about them. I'm surprised I list them, listed them actually. I just thought they were kind of interesting. So um, the next item are these giftums, And I got these at Toys R Us. I want to say these were... Uh, I don't remember, 10 or $15 a piece. And I think I got them for 90% off. So I probably have a buck or two in these. I ended up selling this for $10.79 and the buyer paid shipping. And I do have more available if anyone's interested. My links to all of my stores are down in the description of the video. If you do decide to come over and check out my store, feel free to make an offer and put Bolo Buddies in the comment section so that I know that you're from the channel. The next item is this Boyd's Jeremy Frog figurine. This one is the ruby red color and you can see the marking on the bottom. It is a B. It's kind of hard to see on this one, but I sold this for a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. I picked up probably 30 of these at a garage sale a couple summers ago, but I I think I just sold my last one. So they have been great. Um, I don't have much in them at all. I bought the whole table for one price. I can't remember what the breakdown was, but um, I sold this one for 10 plus shipping. Then, And some of the other colors went for 20-ish, 15-ish. So um, it just really varied. This is a Disney pen. I think this one went internationally. If I remember correctly, it came from a garage sale and a lot of Disney pens. I sold this for $19.99 plus shipping. Sunset Stitchery. This is a, a cross stitch kit, I believe. And this came from a thrift store for $2 and I sold it for $15.99 plus shipping. The next item is this little vintage TV. If you look through it, it um, and push that button, it changes the picture. And I can't show you guys that, but I did look through it. It was pretty cool. It's great for a dollhouse. It's kind of like a souvenir type thing, I believe. Um, but I sold this for best offer, $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this VeggieTales bus. And this sold fast and I knew it would. And I've got a video down in the description. This, um, if you wanna know how to add a video, I do have a video that teaches you that. Uh, just search my YouTube channel for add a video to your listing. I think that's what my title is or something like that. But I sold this for $30 and 40 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And that one came from a thrift store and I got it for like 20 cents. So that was definitely a bolo. This Simpson has no figures and it's not working, but I still sold the little play set. Maybe somebody can fix it. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe they just wanted it for their collection. But I sold this for a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. And I got these Simpsons items at a thrift store. And it was a big lot. So I have less than, I might have 50 cents in that. 
This awesome unicorn came from a thrift store. It was a dollar fifty, and I sold it for twenty dollars. And I believe it's ceramic. Let me get you the bottom here. Um, here it is. Yep, ceramic. So just a cool piece that um, caught my eye. So I went ahead and bought it. The next item that sold is this American Girl horse. This took forever to sell. I sold her for a best offer of $25. The problem was is that she's really big and her legs sticking out and her head makes the box really long. So the shipping price for this was kind of high. So I think that hurt the sale. But $25 plus shipping on that one. And that one came from a garage sale. I'm guessing I paid about 5 bucks for her. This vintage... Um, wind up microwave is super super cute it's got the turkey inside but you wind it and it rotates i don't know i don't think i did a video no i didn't do a video on that one i sold this for 16 dollars, and the buyer paid shipping the next item is another boyd's frog this one sold for 17 dollars 59 plus shipping it was a little more unique in color and um i think this one was my last one so i think i am sold out of the frogs I do still have some Berkham bunnies left. The next item that sold is this grandpa loving family figure. And I picked these up garage sales, thrift stores, you name it, wherever I can get them. And I sold this for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage slide charm bracelet. And this came from a garage sale for $1. And I took a best offer of $20 and the buyer paid shipping. It is vintage and it does slide against this. Um, the actual bracelet part is also whatever that metal is. The next item is this Peppa the Pig talking car. And I have a video of it. And I sold this for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. And I got this at the Goodwill bins. Uh, the pig did not come with it. I added the pig. The next item is this loving family crib. I sold this for... $14.40, the buyer paid shipping, and this was from Facebook Marketplace. This little brown horse puppet came from the same place as the first horse. Um, it was a garage sale, so I got it really cheap, and I sold it for a best offer of $10 plus the buyer paid shipping. This trundle bed came from an estate sale. I got a bunch of dollhouse furniture. It's super, super cute. This is what it looks like without the blankets. It's got this little teddy bear story detail. It is super cute. Um, I took a best offer of $20 and the buyer paid shipping. I had probably a dollar or less in this. This item came out of a mystery box and I sold this for $14. It is a 1991 Bandai Power Rangers Megazoid yellow saber tooth um, toy and it transforms and yeah, pretty cool. The next item is this Monster Morpher truck blaze in the monster machine. So its legs go out. Let me see if I can show you here. See, they go to the side. He can lay down. Super, super cute. It's Darrington. And I sold this for $30.40. They didn't even make me an offer. They just bought it for my sale price. Um, I can't remember where I got this one. It might have been a thrift store with some other cars or it could have come in a mystery box, or I could have gotten it at a garage sale. So I apologize that I cannot remember, but I probably had a dollar or less in it. That's typical of how I normally buy things like that. So um, I didn't know this was a bolo when I looked it up. So I was pretty excited about that. So definitely be on the lookout for Blaze in the Monster Machine, Darrington Monster Morpher. All right, you guys, those are my bread and butter bolos. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Again, the list perfectly video is down in the description of the video. Definitely check that out. Give it a shot. Um, I think you'll love it. So, and if you don't, you can quit. I always say, if you hate it, you can quit. But um, everybody always tells me they wish they would have done it sooner. So, um, happy listing. Get those items listed. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share.